Let's work on the tempe first. Watch my previous video about tempe bacham and because that's how we're going to use in this video. It's mentioning all the spices that were used to make the tempe bacham for the tempe burger. All the spices were put into the blender and then put into the pot together with the tempeh. Then put it into the pot with the tempeh with the water and boil them until all the water sapping down, down, down. And then there you go, you got tempeh bottom for the tempeh burger. Put it aside right now, let it cool down. Let's work on making the cassava burger, shall we? Put one pound of grated cassava and one cup of grated coconut into the bowl and mix them. Then season it with salt, onion, and garlic. It doesn't matter powder or fresh one. Don't forget the black pepper. And then mix them well. Let's make the coconut cream now with two tablespoons of coconut cream and one cup of water and mix them. There you are, you got one cup of coconut cream and then you're gonna pour it into the cassava mixer and mix them nicely together. Voila, all the cassava mixer are nicely mixed together. Now, using the vegetable oil, Put some oil, like two tablespoons of oil, into the Pyrex plate and brush them on all sides. Then pour all the cassava mixture into the Pyrex plate and press it and press it until they are all even. Even level on the top, just like that. Then bake it in the oven, preheat it for 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Look it. It looks nice now, not burned, just like that. Then put it aside to cool it down. After it cools down, we're going to shape it into a burger shape. Let's find a round glass that so uh, wide as wide as the uh, hamburger bun. And when the cassava cake is cooled down, let's make a hamburger shape with the glass 
like that, pushing it down, turning it, turning it until it shapes around like a hamburger. Then take it out carefully. No, don't destroy the shape, please. Just make it round like that. Thank you. Now let's do the same thing with the tempeh. We're going to shape it round like a hamburger by using the glass. Put the glass on top of the tempeh, press it down a bit, and cut the edges with the knife all around it like that. Try to make it round shape all around like that. Cut it a little bit, little bit. Press it down. There. Yeah, it looks nice. It's okay. So because we're going to fry it to make it harder. There you are. Now the tempeh looks nicely rounded. Heated the pan with the vegetable oil in it and fry the tempeh burger. There goes the tempeh burger into the frying pan, into the hot oil. We need to fry the tempeh batchum because it's soft, so it make it harder on the outside, so it will, you know, keep the shapes of the round shape for the burger. It's flipped over and the color is really nice. Now, it's taking it out. Wipe the tempeh burger with paper towel all over, up and bottom to take all the excess oil. Now let's prepare the sweet potato or yams to make yam or sweet potato fries. Of course we have to peel the skin first. It's organic yam or sweet potatoes and it really has nice color, huh? orangey color. There you are, we only need two of them, wash it clean. Now we're gonna cut it lengthwise using long knife and the meat pounder because it's really hard to do it just with hands. There you are, we got a bowl of a nice cut up yam or sweet potatoes. Then fry the yam in vegetable oil. We're cutting the tomatoes for the burger now.
and the avocado. Now we have cut tomatoes and avocados for the hamburger. Okay, let's do the plating. You can do this, guys. I'm using potato buns, so it's vegetarian buns and it's gluten free. We're going to use mayo chop, mayo and ketchup. And then the letters on the top of it. And then we're gonna put the cassava burger on top of the letters. Then put the tempeh burger on top of the cassava. You can put some veggie cheese in between, but I like the way it is. Then more of the mayo chop on top of the tempeh batch burger. Then put avocado on top of the tempeh batch burger. Then tomatoes on top of the avocado. Look how nice it looks now, but we're not finished yet. More letters on top of the tomatoes. Then we got to secure the buns in two sides with the stick. And put some mayo chops on the top buns and put it on the top. And make some slits on the bun for the uh, flour to be put there. Oops, it didn't stay up. But that's okay, we can keep on trying. Finally, the flour stay in place nicely. Then arrange the fried sweet yam around the hamburger there you are it looks nice guys it's so easy to make you can do it guys enjoy